Hey Capricorn, this is going to be an X reading to see if your X is coming back. This is for December 6th through the 12th. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please go to my website at pinkarianjim.com. Excuse me. Drinking a smoothie. <clears throat> Let's see. Is it likely if your ex is coming back or you guys will reconcile? Hmm. Had yeah, two jumping cards right here. And one is the Knight of Pentacles and one is the Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. Just jumped out. I feel like somebody will come back, but it's just going to be very slow. It's not going to be very rushed as I feel like they want to do, though. Like, they want to come in and, um, like, very fast, but they know that's not the way. I almost feel like they're calculating, like, trying to plan out what it is that they actually are going to do because they want to make sure that they don't get rejected when they do it. Very strong message there, I just got. So they're not gonna rush into anything. Cars are just steady and wanting to jump out here. Wow, okay. So you are the moon currently. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way, guys. That's how you're feeling. Here they come as a Ten of Swords. They're stressed. Huh. What you want is the lovers. What they want is the Three of Pentacles. Wow. What you need is the chariot. What they need is the hanging man. Hmm. If someone's in the picture, we have the Knight of Cups. Ooh. And then for them, we have the Eight of Cups. As far as anyone being involved. You know, and with the moon being here, um, as far as where you are right now, it's just you realizing the truth. Like, you don't have to see something to believe it. You know it. Things, are, things have been revealed to you, whereas in the past they weren't. So now you're feeling very clear about things, very clear-headed, okay? Um, so now that you're very clear-headed, what you want to do, you want somebody. You want somebody. You know, I'm, and I'm really not sure that it's the person, your ex, that you're really wanting. Now, where they are is the Ten of Swords. They are really feeling backstabbed, betrayed, um feeling like all is lost and I feel like they're struggling to get out of this state of depression like I feel like their ego is mostly involved in the way that they're feeling right now you know how sometimes people feel like how dare you do that to me I feel like that's where you are right now where they are right now Now, what they want, I feel like is to reunite with you. But there may be like a third side to this situation. Not necessarily like an intimate side, but it may involve other people being involved in your relationship. But I get the sense here that they're wanting to continue to build on the foundation that you guys start at. But the tower is not here. So I'm assuming that the breakup was not one where it was out of the blue. Like it wasn't out of the blue. I feel like this has been coming for a while now. Um, and I feel like you guys have had conversations about 
you know, what was going wrong in the connection, in the relationship, and somebody just was not taking heed to it, is the way I feel. Now, what you need is to, you know, just kind of move out, kind of go out and explore what else is out there. And I feel like you need to do that so you can really kind of, you know, get a gauge on if this is what you truly want. Like, if it's this person you really want or is there somebody better suited for you out there? Because I don't feel like this person is really making any moves towards you. Like, they're coming in as the hangman, what they need to do. And, and I don't think they need to just sit there and not do anything. I think there's a need for them to really kind of um, look at themselves and see if there's something, you know, that they can do differently. Think about you for a change. I, I'm just getting that. Think about other people other than themselves for a change. I feel like they're very selfish. I feel like they're very... Um, like it's all about them. If you want to work with them. Not not you guys working together. But like. Are you going to get on board with them? Like it's their way. Their way or the highway. Now as far as somebody else being in the picture. Or. You know. Currently seeing somebody. You know. The Knight of Cups. Comes up for you. I feel like somebody has caught your eye. Somebody very charming. Somebody very... Way, way into you. Way, way into you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I feel like you don't know how you feel about this person anymore. Hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like you are thinking about moving on. And I think you have somebody in mind. Eight of Cups for them if someone else is involved. No, don't think so. Don't think so. They're too busy thinking about, whoa, it's me. Whoa, it's me. As far as, you know, your connection with them goes. Whoa, it's me. What they did to me. They walked away from me. Although I felt like they walked away first, like physically. I feel like they walked away first and then, you know, you were still investing emotionally. Probably even contacted them. Um, but after, you know, there was no resolve in this situation, then you had to kind of like, you know, get your own answers and move forward. And just kind of like, you know, disconnect from the energy between the two of you because it was too much. I feel like it was just way too much. Way too much. And so now that you have decided to disconnect and like take back your energy, then now they're feeling like, well, where did Capricorn go? They're not calling me. They're not texting me. We have wands for what is a likely outcome. You know, I feel like I feel like this is speaking more towards you. I feel like you're getting your groove back. 
And I feel like you're going to be too much for this person. Not in a bad way. Because it's like the connection with them has almost like transformed you. It, it has transformed you because I, this is this is you like this is you all day long I feel like you don't really have time to sit around and wait to see if this person is going to um, come back into your life and I, and I just feel like at this point it's more about closure for you to see if they will reach out, to see if they will try to, you know, make things right with you. Even if it's not like reconciling, you know, on an intimate level, but just like coming to a mutual understanding that you, you guys care for each other. And um, if you don't remain friends, because sometimes it's hard, at least be cordial, like if you could, if you see each other. And I feel like that's where you are. Okay. So Capricorn, that's what I have for you guys for December 6th through the 12th, and I'll be speaking with you soon.